Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Cindy here from CLB Craft Creations with another card project for you in the 2016 holiday card series. This one's featuring the Merry Melody and this is basically a full background stamp. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Get you a full image there. Um, this is actually a fairly quick and simple card. It does require some die cutting. Um, it does use the um, framelits from the Christmas Pines, and I think it's actually Pretty Pines is the name of the framelits. So, um, and I'm showing you this because I actually keep my framelits inside my case here so that I have them all together. But, um, so that is the framelits that we would use. I'm going to use my Misty, my Mini Misty for this, just because that's the largest block I have, and I wanted to, uh, to I actually mass produced this card. So it was just a lot easier to do it that way. Um, we're going to use some cherry cobbler ink. Go through the pieces real quick. Now you would use uh, a piece for the inside, which would be four by five and a quarter uh, of very vanilla. Our card base is crumb cake, and it's cut at four. Um, sorry, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then we have a piece of cherry cobbler, which is cut at four by five and a quarter and then a piece of very vanilla, which is cut at uh, three and three quarters by five. This is the piece we're actually gonna stamp on. And this card comes together pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my Misty up. And you can actually just put this on your work surface if you don't have a block big enough, and um, just put bring your paper to the stamp pad instead of trying to do it the other way. But again, because I was mass producing this, it just made it easier to put it on my mini Misty. And you can see I have stamped over and over and over again. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my paper in here and it is a full image. So it will cover, completely cover your card front. Um, so I'm just going to take my cherry cobbler ink and I'm just going to ink, ink up my stamp. And my ink pad is definitely in need of re-inking. So hopefully I can get a good enough impression for this card. Okay, nice thing about the Misty though is that if I don't, then I can always just re-stamp it. Okay, so I'm just going to bring the door up, get my hands out of the way here. Stuck to some adhesive there. Okay, and then I'm going to bring the door down, and then I'm just going to kind of press and give it a nice rub. I don't know if you can see, I've got little ghosts on my my nails. My daughter is my my new manicurist, and she wanted to uh, she wanted to put on some ghosts for the upcoming Halloween holiday, so I had a little bit of fun with that. If you're wondering what that big white smudge was, I just wanted to uh, clear that up for you. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we will pull that out, and it definitely, like I said, needs to be re-inked, but I think that that is a good enough image for this card. And I'll get my ink out of the way. That's all the stamping we have. The rest is going to be assembly. So I'm going to bring in my card base. And again, you would put a piece of very vanilla on the inside so that you could write your message. You could also even stamp this lighter if you wanted. To the background and then put something over it so that it showed through on the because kind of would be like the matting there you could see that just some options for you but i'm just going to do the one put some fast fuse on here feels like this is getting i think it's time to start ordering some new uh, basic supplies so I'm just going to layer this on top of my cherry cobbler piece. And I don't know about you guys, I love real red, but for Christmas I just love cherry cobbler. Okay, now this is not cooperating with me, and I got a little off there. I did not lay it down properly, but because I used the uh, fast fuse, it's not coming up, so I'm not even going to attempt it because I don't want to rip my card. Um, if you ever wondered whether or not fast fuse was really strong, there you go. 
just proved that it is super strong. Now you want to kind of look at this and see, you obviously don't want it to be upside down when you put it on. So make sure that you've got your writing uh, in the right direction. Now if you were going to put this in, in landscape mode, then it wouldn't be as, well it would still be fairly critical, but it would be, never mind. But I'm keeping mine up and down. So I want to make sure that, like for instance, the season to believe is going upright and Christmas is going in the right direction. But I could also do it this way as well and it would look just fine. But I'm going uh, for this, that look. Now I have die cut from that Pretty Pines Framelit set um, several pieces of Garden Green Pines. Now I've done a long, a long piece. I've done two of the um, middle ones and three of the smaller ones. I've also done this little berry thing out of the cherry cobbler and uh, we're going to use some glue dots to attach these. So I'm going to start with my biggest one and I'm going to, I'm actually going to cut off just a little bit, just going to cut off these last two so it's still longer than the middle size one, but it's just a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to use some glue dots and I'm going to put this one right smack dab in the middle over here on the left. Okay. And now I'm going to take one of these middle ones and I'm going to angle that off to one side and then I'm going to take a little one and I'm going to angle that off to the other side. So there'll be three on the bottom and I'm going to do two on the top. Okay and then I'm going to do kind of the same type of treatment. I'm just going to put it going the other direction with the smaller pieces. So I'm going to use the middle size one I'm going to line that up in the center and it kind of naturally goes off to the one side which is totally fine and then I'm going to just use I think I'm just going to use two up there because then I've got these little red berry pieces that I want to add and I'm just going to use the glue dots on those two and I'm just going to kind of tuck it under and have it going in that direction. If you wanted to use some liquid glue on this, by all means, that would certainly help secure it down a little bit more. These glue dots are really sticky, but once you start layering things on top of each other, it can get a little finicky. So I'm just gonna kinda tuck this under here and have that going in the other direction. And then I did off camera, I. I tied a double bow with the cherry cobbler twine and those come in a set of three. So it's the cherry cobbler, the garden green, and uh, gold. Those are the ones that come in that set. And then I'm just going to stick that right in the middle where all of those meet. And there you go. And this would look really pretty if you actually added some um, Wink of Stella to the berries if you wanted or you could even put some rhinestones on there. I think that would look gorgeous. Um, but this is just kind of just without any bling. Um, I love this card. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Again, this was one that that we mass produced. Um, again, go through all your die cutting, all your stamping. You do it in in, in steps and you can get these things knocked out really quick. So I hope that you liked this part card project. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you join me for the next card in our card series. So I will see you in the next video.